In the previous video, we saw that knowing the author's purpose for writing helps you understand better what you read because you know what you need to pay attention to in the text. But writers also bring their own viewpoints into their writing. Does detecting the writer's point of view help you interpret what you read? Stick around and let's see how understanding the writer's point of view can help you improve your reading comprehension. Hi, welcome back to Snap Language. I'm Mark Franco. This is one in a series of videos that talk about detecting and interpreting elements in writing that help you improve your reading comprehension. So make sure you subscribe to Snap Language so you don't miss any of our videos. The writer's point of view affects what the writer says about the topic and how the writer says it. As you know, sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Your point of view is the direction you come from or the perspective you have when you approach a topic. A poor person will look at a house and say, wow, what a great house. A rich man will probably say, what a quaint little shack. So is the house a mansion or is it just a shack? Well, neither. It's the same house, but a poor person sees it from a poor person's viewpoint. A rich person sees it from a different viewpoint. It's just a different perspective, but it can make an important difference. Our point of view colors our perception of the world. Whether we notice it or not, our points of view affect how we think and in what we believe. So understanding a writer's point of view helps you understand how that person thinks. You're able to read the author's ideas or opinions and say, I understand where you're coming from, but what if someone has a different viewpoint? Do writers give you the whole information or do they give you only the picture they can see because of their own point of view? For example, take a topic such as capital punishment. Some people are in favor, others are against capital punishment. As you read a passage about it, depending on the information the author gives you or focuses on, you can pretty much tell what the author's point of view is. So let's look at this. Someone in favor of capital punishment may call it capital punishment. Someone against it might call it the death sentence. The first will focus on how fair it is to dole out rigorous justice to a terrible criminal. The other will focus on how a wrongful conviction might send innocent people to their deaths. So you can use context clues to identify the author's point of view. Once you do, you can understand better why the author may be focusing on some things and leaving other things out. The author may have a bias because of his or her viewpoint, so the author will focus on the things he or she believes to be true. It's important to know where the author is coming from or the writer's point of view. It helps you interpret the information carefully. It helps you question what the author may or may not be telling you. And this works in all kinds of situations. In 2014, a white police officer in Ferguson, Missouri, fatally shot Mike Brown, an African-American man. People took to the streets in protest. In the media, some reporters focused on the events as protests, but others focused on the events as violent riots. Some articles may have referred to the protesters as peaceful, but others referred to them as angry mobs. In this article, you can see how Diane Ginty, a reporter writing for the Huffington Post, discusses Ted Nugent's point of view while expressing her own point of view. The link to this article and other materials are in the descriptions below the video. The events are the same, so why are they reported so differently? Well, it depends on the point of view of the person talking about them. If I feel positively about something, I'll talk about it from a positive angle, and the other way around. My tone will change depending on my point of view and how I feel about it. But wait, the tone is the topic for the next video. So for now, give this one a thumbs up if you'd like, and thanks for stopping by and watching this video.